please to Daryl Astrology Forecast for the week of September 19th to the 25th of 2022. All right, so this week we have a new moon at the end of the week on Sunday. So it is the ending of the current lunar month and anything that is about completion or finalizing things uh, as we approach the weekend is a fantastic way of working with this. And then of course, around Sunday, starting to set some new intentions for the new lunar month. So this week we have Venus trining Uranus on Monday. Venus, the planet of our values and relationships in a good harmony with erratic Uranus. So spontaneity, change, getting outside of our comfort zone in those areas can be very enjoyable. Uh, Thursday marks the halfway point of the Mercury retrograde with Mercury conjunct the sun. And so this week, but maybe around Thursday, getting some insights around this retrograde. It's been a good time of trying new things, especially things that are involving our work or service or how we're improving things or striving towards perfection with all this in Virgo. But um, yeah, being flexible and perhaps some insights coming in there around Thursday. Now Friday, uh, Venus will enter Virgo, adding to that improvement nature. Saturday, Venus will oppose Neptune, so perhaps some balance needed with the more receptive qualities of our enjoyments and relationships. And then of course, that new moon completes the week, again, starting that new lunar cycle going into next week. All right, so let's go and take a look at all of this here in more detail when we return. Alrighty, so here is the sky for this week. We're going to look at this first for Monday, September 19th, and look at this through Sunday, September 25th. And as you can see here, we are using the visible sky on this channel, which is very different from mainstream astrology. And so the signs do change. Uh, mainstream, unfortunately, does not use the visible sky. They use an even 30 degrees for all of the signs. But um, yeah, the sizes, uh, the constellations are different sizes in the sky. So we are taking that into account. And if you are new, definitely check out the link down below for more information. All right, so let's do a bit of a recap coming into this week. We are going to be coming into this week in the third quarter moon, which is usually a more action oriented energy, maybe from the Sunday weekend time period and still coming in for these first couple days of the week, at least maybe the first few days. And so good to challenge ourselves, move things forward, especially in the context of any shifts that happened during the last full moon a week ago, a week from this beginning of the week. And so great to do that. But as we do get further and further into the week, noticing that the energies are dying down and it is good for completion, finalization as we do end that lunar cycle. But coming into the week, we've had the sun recently enter improvement oriented Virgo last week, where Mercury's already been for quite some time and now retrograde. So it is still good to be focused on things in that improvement oriented way, striving towards perfection. But of course, then also remembering that everything is perfect the way that it is in a universal sense. So focusing on what we do have control over is a great way of working with Virgo, right? That refinement, that improvement orientation, work, service, personal development, great way of working with this. Now with the Mercury retrograde, it's good to be flexible in general, especially with routines and things like this, because that is Virgo's domain. And Mercury's very strong here, and it felt like, at least for me, a very strong Mercury retrograde. So yeah, being flexible, being adaptive, being light on our toes, expecting information to change, having a plan A, B, C, and D to be flexible. It's a great way of working with this uh, retrograde, um, you know, still throughout this whole week. Now, Venus is going to be finishing Leo this week until Thursday. So still enjoying and valuing the self-expressive qualities of life, right? Um, so playfulness, lightheartedness, creative energy, still good to enjoy and perhaps connect in our relationships in that way. And Mars taking his time in Taurus before he goes retrograde at the end of October. And so things are slow and steady with our actions right now. And that's great. Good time to stop and smell the roses. Good time to be steady, you know, cultivate those inner resources, that stable energy, one step at a time with Mars in Taurus the Bull. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this for each day of the week, starting first with Monday. So the aspects are a bit, you know, nicely well spaced throughout the week. Uh, Monday, we could be still feeling perhaps a bit of empowerment from last Sunday. The sun's still trying Pluto with an orb 
a good time of maybe facing fears or empowering ourselves to do things. And um, Venus will start to trine Uranus both Monday and Tuesday. And so this is where it could be good to enjoy some of these different experiences. So Venus is about our values and enjoyments and Uranus is about different energy, freedom energy, spontaneity, excitement, right? And so great to um, have that, you know, enjoyment there to enjoy new experiences, connect to life in different ways, connect to people in different ways. Venus is our relationships as well. So this could be perhaps enjoying some different relationships or in our one-on-one -on -one life, doing things that are different or unorthodox than we normally would, right? For a bit of that spontaneity, excitement and experimentation, which here it's usually supports during this sort of trinal energy. All right, but the theme will be on Monday around pr probably communication with the moon in Gemini or perhaps learning, but at least at the very least, being willing to learn from others, exchange, being willing to learn in general, right? And again, flexibility is the name of the game with the uh, Gemini and Mercury energies. Now, once we do get to the Tuesday time period, the moon will shift into Cancer for both Tuesday and Wednesday. And so the theme will likely be around creating a protective environment both for ourselves and those close to us. All right, so those we would consider family or are our family. And so a good time to connect to our feelings, more of the protective nature, create a safe and secure environment for ourselves and others, right? Probably noticing some themes around that one. Okay, and then once we do get to about this Thursday time period, Venus will start to get quite close to Virgo and start to enter Virgo over this uh, essentially weekend here. And so uh, starting to enjoy perhaps or see the value of some of that improvement orientation. All right. And so it makes it good for that. It can kind of lighten things up a little bit too when Venus of Benefic comes into this very detail oriented sign. It's not her most comfortable placement. Okay, she is debilitated here. But when it comes to these sorts of things like improvement nature or work and service, it can really lighten it up there a little bit. But with relationships, you know, it can bring in more of that improvement nature. So good to stay balanced with that, with Venus debilitated here. Um, you know, there's uh, things we have control over. There's things we don't. Usually one of those things we don't is other people. Um, so this kind of a thing and really connecting with others in the improvement oriented way is fantastic. So connecting with others in our work is fantastic for this. Connecting with others to improve things or towards self-improvement, fantastic with Venus and Virgo. But anyways, um, starting to uh, at least see the value and enjoy some of that improvement nature, which again, we'll be gearing up for with that new moon. Now the moon will be in Leo here, finishing up the week um, or the weekend rather, which will be uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, the moon in expressive Leo. As a reminder that this is where the previous cycle was and where the previous cycle or the current cycle is ending, right? So it's where the previous new moon was and where this current lunar cycle is ending, which is about cultivating, has been about cultivating self-expression, right? And so what can we perhaps reflect on or finalize or complete regarding self-expression, regarding what we love, our passion, some of that creative energy perhaps here over this uh, weekend as again, we do gear up for that new moon on Sunday, which of course I will make a separate video on this, but uh, new beginnings uh, starting to emerge around cultivating that improvement oriented nature of Virgo. And we will get two new moons with this. It is common with Virgo since it's such a large constellation. So this is going on over the coming months, okay, um, with this. But uh, yeah, any new intentions and, uh, you know, uh, new beginnings around improvement, fantastic way of working with that Virgo energy. All right, everyone. So that is the week in a nutshell. Now, one thing I did want to mention is that um, Saturn and Uranus are getting close to their square. All right. Now this square already happened. This was last year in 2021. It was collectively where Saturn, the planet of structure has been clashing or squaring with Uranus, the planet of freedom and change. And so this was last year and is a good time now through October while we do have this getting close. Now it's getting close. It's not going to quite contact, but it's a sort of reminder of what we were perhaps cultivating last year regarding building things in our life with Saturn that gives us more freedom and change and is a greater reflection of our true self with Uranus. All right. So this could be emphasized over this next month and a half. Good to see it, feel it again. It's just getting 
you know, close, not going to contact, a reminder of the importance of both structure and freedom and how these th two things can be um, intertwined, interconnected, and um, yeah, we can have both. All right, everyone, so that's the week in a nutshell. Most important thing is the ending of the current lunar month, Sunday, new moon, new beginnings around improvement-oriented Virgo, which is where we still have already a lot of energy. Um, Mercury is retrograde, so there is this um, sort of, you know, needing flexibility, needing adaptability, things like this during this week. Uh, the halfway points will be around this Thursday, Friday time period uh, with Mercury conjunct the sun here. And so good to just be, you know, perhaps aware. Mercury will be very strong, very close to Earth around this time. So good to be aware of maybe there's some shifts of perspective as the halfway point will be culminating there uh, this week. All right, but all in all, um, a lot of aspects with Venus, values, relationships, some spontaneity with those at the beginning of the week, and maybe some finding peace or healthy ways of doing that, uh, perhaps here around the, uh, the Saturday time period. If there's too much wanting to escape, hide away, or apathy or not enough with the Venus-Neptune thing, um, finding the middle path, right? How can we practice things like acceptance of our values and relationships, right? compassion for ourselves and others, all right, living in the present moment, these kinds of things can be a good way of balancing that out. All right, so everyone, have a fantastic week. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click the like button if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you're not yet signed up for MTZ Insiders, it is a free newsletter where you do get these videos released first before YouTube. You can sign up down below for that. Have a great one, everyone, and I'll see you all next time for the next, what will be the new moon report. Take care.